Hi guys. Harvest is incredibly significant to my family and I and so many all around the world as it marks the end of people putting a lot of hard work and labour into um, farming and sowing seeds and stuff like that um, so that we can enjoy delicacies such as cauliflower, broccoli and vegetables and fruits just like that. Um, throughout the Bible there are many verses that have a description of harvest and include harvest such as John 4 36 and Leviticus so we must remember that harvest is a time to thank those who put a lot of hard work into what they do and yeah thank you Good morning. Um, harvest memories for me go back to childhood um, when I would have a basket filled with mainly homegrown produce, potatoes and apples and take to church. It was a big day harvest festival and I, I remember those smells and of the fruit and the veg and the colours. They're just wonderful. And then when my own children came along and they shared the same excitement, they would get the uh, green crepe paper and wrap up their baskets. And I think it was a little bit of a competition with the children at Sunday school uh, who'd got the best looking basket and, and the most produce. Um, in those days, uh, uh, the produce was taken to um, care homes, old people's homes. Whereas nowadays, um, it's badly needed all over the country for the food banks and we hear that they're in crisis. So the meaning of harvest for me is always
being so grateful and thankful for what we have and giving what we can to those who desperately need uh, to eat nice food. In my word, harvest is a period in our lives where we get to connect to God, grow our relationship and experience the spirit of God's blessing for others and ourselves. One of the things that seems to flourish this year has been tomatoes. These are some of the tomatoes from Louise and Mark's garden, looking very ripe and ready to pick. Louise was very kind to share tomatoes around the church community. We have some in our garden. We're not that great at gardening and maybe ours are a little bit behind, but it reminds us when we look at these tomatoes of God's creation and we think of the sharing that Louise did and how we're all part of one family, even though we're not able to see each other very much at the moment. This harvest bringing us together. And others have grown tomatoes as well. These are some tomatoes from Robin, ably assisted by a cardboard cutout of Abigail. And as you can see, there's quite a bumper crop to enjoy in the weeks to come. this means to me is that it's a time to uh, focus on what God has given to you instead of worrying too much about life so you can think about your gifts and talents and appreciate them and also appreciate other people's talents and success in things so that you can see how uh, gifted they are without thinking it takes away from who you are. Well we have never grown vegetables in our garden before it's taken Covid to get us to grow some herbs and at the start of Covid Steve made a little raised bed and we planted a selection of herbs so that I could do my cooking and come out in the garden and pick what I wanted and they have gone berserk I'm pleased to say so we have got all sorts of herbs, thyme, sage, rosemary, mint, chives in abundance so if anybody fancies a bunch of herbs, do give us a call and I could pick you a nice fresh selection to put in with your casseroles. A few years ago, uh, Elvis Costello sang a song, um, It's Been a Good Year for the Roses. Well, this year for me, it's been a good year for tomatoes. Thank you, God.